everyone today i am going to share with you something very very interesting and it is all about drawing a tangram on a graph paper and making an interactive tangram puzzle what is a tangram a tangram is basically a set of 4 plus 3 which is equal to 7 polygons interesting so here you can see on the screen seven polygonal shapes and these seven polygonal shapes when they are combined they make up a set of tangrams now you can see over here that uh, in this we have two bigger triangles and these are right triangles and that two isosceles right triangles which means two sides are equal and one angle is 90 degrees third piece is yet another triangle which is uh, this mid size i would say and uh, there are two more right triangular pieces which are congruent to each other and uh, these are the smallest one so in all in a tangram we have five triangular pieces then we have one piece this green piece you can see which is moving and this is a parallelogram and uh, another piece that is the seventh one is a square piece right so these seven pieces they are combined together to make a tangram puzzle so here you can see on the left side i have taken a square and basically what we have to do is we have to combine all these pieces to fit into this particular square so as you can see here that if we try to move the blue point the shape we are able to translate the shape around the point g one similarly you take up any other shape we are able to do so it will help us in uh, placing the shape and uh, basically do the correct orientation as desirable so now you can see that uh, we need to fix up this parallelogram cut out here so what we do is we first fix up the green point and then move around move the shape using the blue point so we are able to now fit in this parallelogram piece now let us see this uh, triangular cut out so first we are going to fix up the green point and then using the blue point we can orient it and then place it so this is how we are going to complete the square using the seven tangram pieces we call them as the tiles or sometimes we call them as the tans as well so these are tans so you can see that it is so interesting and children they love to play with tangrams and uh, earlier we will we were making tangrams uh, and using them in the mathematics laboratory using the cutouts or uh, wooden blocks but nowadays uh, we are teaching in an online environment so this is a good way of demonstrating on the screen and uh, do recreational activities with the children and at the same time it helps in building the spatial understanding and uh, 
mathematical thinking. So you can see that the entire square has been completed using these seven pieces. Now I am going to share with you how to draw a tangram on a graph paper and how we are going to make this interactive tangram puzzle. So first step is we are going to use the segment tool and here uh, I will be making a square of dimension 8 units. So because it is on the graph paper so it is easy to count you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and then we are going to complete the next edge 5, 6, 7, 8 and then come back so this way we are going to make a square first now next step is we have to draw the diagonal so I have drawn here WL1 after that what we are going to do is we will be using here the midpoint tool so you can see this in the point tool so this is the midpoint tool select that and find the midpoint of the diagonal and two sides which are on one side of this uh, diagonal so either you can use the wk1 l1 k1 or you can use wm1 or L l1 m1 it's up to you you can make it in your way after that what we have to do is we will be selecting the segment tool and joining o1 p1 this is how we get one piece you can see one uh, triangular piece is there then we will be joining M and 1. This is how we get two bigger triangular pieces. Now what we will be doing is we will be finding the midpoint of O1, P1. So I am again picking up the midpoint tool to get the midpoint of O1, P1. And then using the point tool by just counting these uh, squares so you can see that this is the midpoint of WN1 and similarly I'm going to mark the midpoint of N1 L1 okay I hope up to this everything is clear now use the segment tool and try to get the other pieces of the tangram. See, this is how we got the triangle piece. And now I'm joining N1, Q1 to get a square piece. And then joining S1, Q1 to get another triangle and a parallelogram. So see how easy it is to draw a square and then divide it into seven polygons and these seven pieces or the seven parts they are the tiles or the tans of the tan graph okay so the first part is over now now i am going to share with you how to create the interactive pieces like you see over here I'm using the move tool, I can move this point, this particular shape. Okay, so now I'm going to share with you how you can uh, make such interactive shapes using the GeoGebra. Okay, so let me first shift it a little bit. I'm just moving the screen so that uh, you can easily see the process so what I am going to do is so you can see here say for example I have to make this N1 Q1 S1 as uh, some uh, tile of this particular size so what I will do is 
first i will be using here from the polygon tools rigid polygon can you see this rigid polygon so click on this rigid polygon tool and what we will be doing is we will be making a replica of the piece which we wish to make so we have to make n1 q1 s1 so let me start from here let me shift it a little bit now i have space for making it so i have to make n1 q1 s1 replica of this so just see how i'm doing it taking a point taking another point after that one two three four and then completing this polygon now you will see that here i'm now using the move tool and you will be able to understand that when i move t1 then it is you know translating the shape and if i move from the point u1 i can change the orientation of this shape okay so what i will do is just to fix up like which point is you know by by the help of which point i am able to move this what i will do is this is t1 is the fixed point so right click and do the settings and change the style you can increase the size of this point and then change the color as well say for example here i am changing it to red so you can guide the children that uh, uh, this you can uh, move this shape using the move tool by moving the point u1 for changing the orientation right and if you move from the point t1 you can just translate it like this so this demonstration you can give in the class to the children and you can explain it to them like if they have to fix this shape in a particular place then here say for example we have to fix it up here so what i will be doing is i will be first fixing up the point t1 and then we'll move around u1 for uh, you know changing this another interesting thing which we can do is we can change the color of the tile also so you can see over here i can change the opacity by just dragging this point and suitably you can choose any color and see this is how we have created this particular tile right so this is what i wanted to share with you regarding like how you can draw a tangram and make a, an interactive puzzle for the children now it depends on you like what kinds of activities you wish to give to the children in an online environment i mean if you are teaching class 8 then uh, you can think of uh giving them some questions based on perimeter area and then making some shapes or some uh, interesting designs alphabets new numerals or any other thing using these stands or these tiles uh in a way that uh, when they join then they there should not be any space between them and they are using all the tiles or five tiles or four tiles or three tiles and do a comparison of perimeter area and do a lot of 
interesting stuff in a math classroom i hope uh, this idea would be fruitful in your classroom all the best have a nice day